Hi, I'm Lucy from Wool and the Gang, and today I'm going to show you how to make the Eden sweater. So this is an intermediate pattern, so if you've mastered some of the beginner techniques already, this could be the perfect project for you. So the Eden sweater uses our Crazy Sexy wool, so I'm going to be using Crazy Sexy wool in ivory white, and also our 12mm needles. As well as the needles, you're also going to need a sewing needle, a measuring tape, and a small pair of scissors. So let's get started. So to begin with, we're gonna cast on using the long tail cast on technique. This creates a firm but stretchy edge at the bottom of the jumper. So take a length of yarn, roughly four times the length of your finished width. In this case, it's about 220 centimeters. Start by making a slip knot and placing it on your needle. Then hold the needle in your right hand and with the yarn hanging straight down. Now with the long tail towards you, insert your thumb and index finger in between the two strands and close your other fingers around the yarn to trap it. Stretch your fingers so the yarn is tight, but then scoop the yarn tail up with the needle tip. Then scoop the end attached to the ball of yarn and pull through the loop you have just made. So you've now got two stitches on the needle and the slip knot counts as the first stitch. So repeat this technique until you have 41 stitches on your needle. So I'll show you that a couple more times. And then catch the yarn and pull it, and then hold the yarn tails taut, put the tip through, pick it up, and there you go. So I'm gonna do this until I've got 41 stitches on my needle. So I've now got 41 stitches on my needle, and it's time to do the one by one rib section. So to do this, I'm going to knit my first stitch, Then I'm going to bring my yarn through between my needles and I'm going to knit my purl stitch. So I'm just going to show you that a couple more times. So I'm going to knit this next stitch. And then I'm going to purl the next stitch. So then I'm going to continue on for the rest of the row alternating between knit and purl. So I've now finished my first row in one by one rib. So I'm going to turn my work and then I'm going to do another six rows in one by one rib. But because I started with an odd number of stitches, I've got 41, so that means that I need to start, my first stitch will be a purl. So I'll purl and then I'll knit and then I'll purl. So I've just finished my second row now, so I'll turn my work and then do another five rows in one by one rib. So I've now done my seven rows of one by one rib and now it's time to work in stocking stitch. 
So I'm going to knit in stocking stitch until I've got around 32 centimetres from the cast on edge. So I'm going to start with a knit row and then when I've got to the end I'm going to turn my work and work a purl row. Okay, so I've just finished my knit row and now I'm going to turn my work and then purl across all of the stitches. And I'm going to keep going alternating between knit rows and purl rows until I've got my 32 centimetres of stocking stitch. You should now have 32 centimetres of knitting and will begin shaping your raglan armhole. Begin by casting off four stitches. So knit one, knit another stitch, and then put the first stitch over the top and off the end. So that's one stitch cast off. Knit one more stitch, Put the needle in the first stitch, over the top and off the end. Knit another stitch. And then cast off one more stitch. Okay, so now I'm going to knit all the way to the end of the row. So I've now finished my first shaping row and it's now time to turn my work and then I'm going to cast off the first four stitches in purl and then I'm going to purl to the end of the row. So I'll purl my first stitch and my second stitch and then I take my first stitch over the top like before off the end, knit one more, top, so that's two cast off, and this is my last stitch that I'm casting off. And now I'm just going to purl to the end of the row.
So I've just completed my purl row and I've now got 33 stitches. So I'm going to turn my work and then I'm going to do my first decrease row. So to do this, I'm going to knit my first two stitches and then I'm going to make a left leaning decrease. So to do this, I'm going to slip the next two stitches off my left needle onto my right needle. Now I'm going to insert my left needle through both of these stitches. Then I'm going to wrap my yarn around as for a normal stitch, pull my needle back, catch that stitch, and then put both of these two loops off the end of the needle. Then I'm going to continue knitting until I've got four stitches left on my row. So I've now got four stitches left on my left hand needle. So now I'm going to make a right leaning decrease. To do this, I'm simply going to knit two stitches together as I would one stitch. So I'll put my needles through both loops, pull my yarn round, bring it back, push both loops off the end, and then I'm just going to knit the last two stitches of my row. So I've now got 31 stitches on my needle and now I'm going to turn my work and then I'm simply going to purl all of my stitches for this next row. So I've now finished my purl row, so it's time to turn my work and then I'm going to work another decrease row, which is where I knit two stitches and then I do a left leaning decrease and then I knit until I've got four stitches left, then I do a right leaning decrease and then I knit the last two stitches. So I've now just finished my three rows of stocking stitch. So you'll now repeat the sequence of one decrease row and three stocking stitch rows a further three times. So you'll end up with 23 stitches on your needle. So I'm now going to do one more decrease row, which is where I knit two and then I do a right leaning decrease. I knit until I've got four stitches left, then I do a left leaning decrease, and then I knit two stitches, and then I'll do a purl row, and then I repeat that one more time. So I should end up with 19 stitches. So I've now finished the shaping part of the body and so now I need to transfer all of my stitches onto a piece of spare yarn and I'll come back to them later. So I threaded my needle and it's quite useful to use a different colour so you can see the stitches easily. So I'm going to start left to right and I'm going to bring my sewing needle with the yarn and I'm going to put it through each of the stitches on my needle.
Okay, so I've now got my other piece of yarn that I've just popped under all the stitches. So they're nice and secure and I can remove my needle. Now I can take the needle out of my yarn and then tie a little knot just to keep them safe. So now that I've finished my front piece, I'm going to repeat all of those steps and make the exact same piece again for my back. So to knit the sleeve, you cast on 19 stitches using the long tail cast on technique as before, and then work seven rows in one by one rib, just as we did for the main body. So now that I've completed my rib rows, I'm going to then work the rest of the sleeve. So I'm going to work in stocking stitch, increasing as I go up towards the armhole. So first of all, I'm going to turn my work and then I'm going to knit two stitches. And then I'm going to increase a stitch. So to do this, I'm going to insert my left needle into the bar that's in between both of my needles from front to back. So here's the bar here and I'm going to put my needle from front to back underneath that loop. Now I'm going to get my right needle and I'm going to put it into the back of that loop. I'm going to bring my yarn round as I would a normal stitch, pull it back and I've made a new stitch on my needle. Then I'm going to knit the rest of the row until I have two stitches left on my left needle. Okay, so I've got two stitches left, so I'm going to increase again by putting my left needle through the bar from front to back then I'm going to get my right needle, put it in the back, pull my yarn around, back and up, and then I'm going to knit the last two stitches. So I've now finished my increase row and I'm going to turn my work and then work three rows in stocking stitch, starting with a purl row. So then you'll repeat that sequence with one increase row and three stocking stitch rows a further seven times. And then you'll have 35 stitches. So now I've finished my increase sequence, I'm going to work four rows in stocking stitch. So now that I've completed my stocking stitch rows, it's time to start shaping the sleeve. So the sleeve raglan shaping is worked the same way as the body raglan shaping. So as before, I'm going to cast off four stitches and then knit to the end of the row. So now that I've finished that row, I'm going to turn my work and then I'm going to cast off four stitches in purl. and then I'm going to purl to the end of the row and then I'll have 27 stitches on my needle. OK, 
Okay, so now I'm at the end of my row, so I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to knit two rows in stocking stitch, starting with a knit row. So I've now finished my two rows in stocking stitch and it's time to work another decrease row. So first I'm going to knit two stitches. Then I'm going to make a left leaning decrease. I'm going to knit until I have four stitches left. And then I'm going to make a right leaning decrease. So I'm going to knit those two stitches together. And then I'm going to knit the last two stitches. Okay, and then I'm going to turn my work and purl my next row. So I've now completed my purl row. So I'm going to turn my work and then I'm going to repeat the sequence of one decrease row and one purl row a further eight times. And then I'll end up with nine stitches left on my needle. So I've now got nine stitches left on my needle and I'm going to turn my work. And then knit the first stitch. Then make a left leaning decrease. And then I'm going to make a central decrease. So to do this, I slip the next two stitches from left to right onto my right hand needle. And then I knit the next stitch. And then I get my right hand needle and I put them under both of these stitches that I slipped. And then I put them over the top and off the end and now I've decreased by two stitches. So now I make a right leaning decrease and then I knit the last stitch. And I've got five stitches left on my needle. And then I turn my work and then I purl this row which is just five stitches. Okay, so just as before, I'm now going to get some waste yarn and then thread my needle. So now that I've threaded my needle, I'm going to put the needle through each of the five stitches on my knitting needle to secure them and then I can take my knitting needle out. So I've now completed all of the pieces of my Eden jumper. So now it's time to do the neck. I'm going to pick up the stitches across the tops of all of my pieces from left to right. So I'm going to thread on, first of all, my sleeve and then a body piece and then the other sleeve and then my other body piece in that order.
Okay, so now that all of my stitches have been picked up, they're all secure on the needle and I can remove my waste yarn. So now I'm going to work 17 stitches in one by one rib. Now I'm going to make a left leaning purl decrease. So to do this, I'm simply going to purl two stitches together. Then I'm going to make a right leaning decrease. Then purl one stitch and then I'm going to make a left leaning decrease. Okay, so now I'm going to make a right leaning purl decrease. So to do this, I'm going to insert, I'm going to bring my yarn to the front. Then I'm going to insert my right needle into the back of the second stitch and put it through the second and first stitch of my left needle. And then I'm going to bring my yarn round as I would for a normal purl stitch, bring it up and off the end. Now I'm going to work 15 stitches in one by one rib. And then I'm going to make a left leaning purl decrease. Then I'm going to make a right leaning decrease. Then I'm going to purl one stitch. Knit one stitch. and then purl one stitch. Okay, so now I'm going to turn my work. And I'm going to knit seven rows in one by one rib, starting with a knit stitch. So I've now finished my seven rows in one by one rib, and now it's time to cast off. So I'm going to cast off in ribbing. So I'll knit my first stitch, purl my second stitch, and then put my first stitch over my second stitch as normal. So I've got one stitch left on my right hand needle, so I'm gonna knit my next stitch, and then take the first stitch, Put it over the second stitch and off the end. So I'm going to continue on in this way until the end of the row. So I'm going to line up my sleeve edge with the front piece of my sweater. So these four stitches on the cast off edge need to be stitched together in the horizontal seaming technique because of the shape. So to do this I'm going to thread my needle with a length of yarn and then I'm going to find the stitch that's closest to the cast off edge and then I put it in on the edge of the V, bring it up underneath the stitch like this, 
and then I find the stitch on the opposite piece and then I put my needle underneath both of those sides and then I pull the yarn through. So I'll show you that again with a couple more stitches. So next I put my needle in through underneath these two parts of the stitch like this, pull the yarn through And then I find the other stitch on the other side and I bring my yarn underneath. So that's the second of the four stitches that I'm going to seam up in horizontal technique. So then I'll go under these two stitches next. So now that I've finished those four stitches, I'm going to use the vertical seaming technique for the rest of the edging. So to do this, I'm going to find the two stitches on the edge of this, of this side of my work. And then in between the two stitches, you'll find a bar that's just under, in between, like this. So I'm then going to put my needle underneath the bar, like this, and then I'm gonna pull the yarn through. Next, I go over to my other side, and then I'm going to find the bar over here, put my needle underneath and pull it through. I'm gonna keep going, so I'm gonna find the next bar on the other side and pull it through. and then underneath this one too. So I'm gonna continue working in this way all the way up to the top, and then I'm going to seam my other sleeve in the same way. So now that I've finished seaming up my one by one rib section, I'm going to move on to the rest of the body. So I'm going to use the vertical seaming technique for this. So I find my bar here, and then I find the matching bar on the other side. And then I'm just gonna work my way up. So I'm going to continue on in this technique all the way up until all of my seams are sewn together. So that's it, and don't forget to weave in your ends. And here it is, the finished Eden sweater. We hope you enjoyed stitching along with us.